hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we are looking at the different types of cloud computing, and we have this nice pyramid on left-hand side to help us understand how each type builds off the other. Starting at the top of our pyramid, we have Software as a Service, also known as SaaS, and this is a product that is run and managed by the service provider. You don't have to worry about how the service is maintained, and it just works and remains available. So you might not be aware of this, but you probably already are using a SaaS product. So examples of that could be Salesforce or Gmail or Office 365. So those are things that would be considered SaaS and these are really for customers. So it's just you wanting to use general software on your computer, but in the cloud. The next category we have is Platform as a Service, abbreviated as PaaS. And so here we focus on the development and management of your applications. So you don't have to worry about provisioning, configuring, or understanding the hardware or operating system. And this is really for people that are building apps, but they don't think about any of the infrastructure. Services like this would be Elastic Beanstalk on AWS Heroku that is very popular amongst junior developers, which is a third-party service for launching web apps. And then you have the Google App Engine. So those are three examples there. And these are really for developers. So platform as a service makes it easy for developers to build apps on the cloud without worrying about all the stuff underneath at the bottom. Finally, we have infrastructure as a service, abbreviated as IAS. And this is the basic building blocks for cloud IT. So it provides access to networking features, computers, and data storage space. You don't worry about the IT staff, data centers, and hardware. And so examples of infrastructure as a service would be Microsoft Azure, AWS, or even Oracle Cloud. And so this is really intended for administrators. The main focus of the course will be on Microsoft 365, which falls under the category of software as a service, but you will definitely need to understand the differences of the cloud computing types for the exam. So that is the three types of cloud computing, okay?